everybody, and welcome to the first annual Suckathon 2011. My name is the Super Suck Lord. Thanks, Buff Monster. You were great. Now get the fuck out. Luke Chu. How's it going? The Big LC. I don't want the fucking sandwich. I want to interview Gary Baseman. Now, I know when you look at this guy's face, you think of ass. You don't want to miss one second of this because it's the best thing ever. All right, uh, let's wait for this guy to shut the fuck up. Is this guy going to be talking the whole time? I doubt I'm going to get bored. All right, but it's distracting me. How? I mean, it, it just so happens that this asshole's doing his raffle while I'm trying to launch my fucking broadcast, so what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? All right, let's just get this show on the road. Um, hello, everybody, and welcome to the first annual Suckathon 2011 here at DesignerCon in beautiful Pasadena, California. We are sponsored by Toy Break and DKE Toys, and it's wonderful to be here. My name is the Super Suck Lord, and we have an exciting program of events and entertainment, exclusives, raffles, beautiful women, and human interaction. So, without any further bullshitting on my part, uh, I'd like to just announce, at 1.30 today, we're going to be dropping our first exclusive, the limited edition Decon 2011 Dominini figure. Uh, I have six pieces available, and if you want to show up and try to get one, well, then good luck. At 2.30-ish, we're going to be dropping the second installment of the Scrubs of the Universe series, Carator, and they know there has been a little debate about the legitimacy of carrot appropriation in toys and who can claim true ownership to that. So we're going to hash that issue out as the suckathon continues. Um, I'm ready for my first guest. If you got something for me, where is he? Hey, you. Yeah, get over here. Um, do you mind just, uh, yeah. Is that's not going to distract you, is it? Can we move the body painting just slightly off camera? Oh, that, that, that's good. We want a little bit of it in the frame. That, that's an, a little ass, not too much. Just enough, because, I mean, and now I know when you look at this guy's face, you think of ass. La, 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 we la, all la, do. La. Sexy, beautiful ass. Um, oh, oh one, one more thing. Before I go too far, I'd like to call your attention to my beautiful girlfriend, Samantha. She was unable to attend this year, but I just want you all to know that she is present in some form. And what that means to all the beautiful women at this convention, you can look, but don't touch. Because if, God forbid, you get a little fresh, this girl is fucking gangster and she will fucking kill you. It's true. So it's true. I love her to death. I hope you're watching, baby. And I'm going to be good. Don't worry. All right. So. Is this on? I don't know. I'm not I the tech know. guy. I don't like that I'm sitting so much lower than you. Why? It's, it's, it's where you belong. <laughs> you, you belong uh, subordinate to me, yeah. at least in this venue. Yeah? In this venue, yeah. yes, yes. I mean, okay. your hair is actually <laughs> is, is taller yeah. than me, so you're still kind of winning, at least in nice. that regard. Winning. Uh, I know you're, there's a lot of power in hair, would you say? Yeah. Um, how, do you feel differently when your hair is up as uh, far as how you present yourself to people? No, it's fine. I'm just me. You know. No, you're not. <laughs> you are so not you. You're like everybody else. Yeah, I'm an individual like everybody well, else. Yeah, you're right. You're just yeah. being yourself. You're yeah. just doing your thing. Yeah. Um, what are you going to be doing at Decon today? Well, today is the... Uh, All right, boring. I'm just kidding, buddy. I love you. I love you. Uh, I know. I, I made it on the back of your, uh, your 8x10 there. You did. It's one, it's one of my top 10 achievements is making friends with you. I know. Well, me being on the back of your thing, being acknowledged for that achievement is one of my top achievements. Well, that's great because, you know, I didn't <laughs> like you at first. When you came to New York, I think it was in 2003 or whatever yeah. for some stupid signing. Yeah. And you had some, yeah. like, line out the block. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I was like, why does this <laughs> asshole have a big line? And then I looked at you and you were a big goofy guy with yeah. glasses. I was like, fuck this guy. Yeah, it's true. Uh, but then... Um, uh, you know, a couple of years later, uh, I was railroaded into hiring you to do some yep. photography yep. <laughs> for me. And you were a nice guy. I couldn't believe it. I was all set to hate you. And you were yeah, a nice guy. And, na and now we're buddies. Now we're buddies. So, um, I think this cup is weird. Do you want a water or anything? 
No, I'm good. All right, so listen, uh, there's a lot of other people that want to sit on the couch, so you You're better... You're me out already? You better start what being fuck, really dude? relevant. <laughs> yeah, it's up to your questions, dude. What do you want to talk about? What uh, you, you were telling me about something you're doing at the con, a print, a and figure. Interrupted. All right, I, I'm going <laughs> to shut up now. The yeah. floor is yours. Well, you know, you're, you're part of it, too. Scott Wolkowski did... Uh, was it six figures or seven figures for the skin deep thing? He did. He did. Yeah, he did a good job. He did a fucking great job. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people are blowing smoke up the guy's ass. Yeah. Yeah, and he doesn't see. He's 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 not as seasoned as you and I as far as like right. that. So right. he was like sitting here, yeah. holding his dick while there was a line out the door <laughs> to buy his shit. And it's like, why aren't you there like sucking up some of this glory? Right. And he was like, oh, and he got up and sucked it up. But I, right. you know, he had to be prompted, yeah. which is fine. He'll learn. He'll learn. He'll learn your your header cards turned out all right. Yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm good with that shit. <laughs> Word. You know, I didn't really want to do it, but this fucking guy, he, I know, this guy shoot, he got up my ass about it, and I, <laughs> and I had to do it. Um, so yeah, you got the skin deep thing, which basically you didn't do jack I shit. I didn't have to do anything. You just gave the guy. You didn't even yeah. give him your figure. Dove gave him the figure. I I gave Dove the figure. Oh wow, yeah. sacrificing, <laughs> sacrificing for your art, and um, and he did something cool with it. He did. And yeah. so what? You're now you're gonna walk over there and take some kind of credit for it. I would. Okay. <laughs> Anything else? That's a, it. You didn't do a print. I didn't do a print. I didn't do anything. I'm just hanging out. Do you man. have a signing? I guess at three o'clock we're signing those things. Okay. Yeah. Great. Um, <laughs> one more question before I let you go, because yeah. I don't I don't want you to shoot your load. Okay, good. But people have been wondering, and I know oh, I know boy. the answer. Well, but what, what, where how, is this how, going? how big is your cock? Oh Jesus Christ, Morgan! Because you're suck, Lord, please. Suck, Lord. Okay. Sorry. Um, yeah, in this venue, <laughs> in this privately venue. you can call me that secret name right, you call me, right. but secret in this venue name. it's the suck, Lord. <laughs> uh, are we gonna get some some numbers here? Dude, come on. Because you carry yourself as if. Oh yeah. Yeah. Nice. And people have been speculating that there's some major log happening. <laughs> so, deny, confirm. Uh, no one's ever complained. All right, we'll leave it at that. Uh, thanks, Buff Monster. Word. You were great. Now get the fuck out. All right, word. Who's next? Who's up next? Scott Will fucking Kowski. Uh, do me a favor. Bring me a few samples. Bring the Buff Monster piece. Bring the. All right, get out of the frame, asshole. All right. Uh, while we're waiting, does anyone want to buy anything? Obviously, it's going to be difficult running the sales until my booth girl is done and doing interviews so if anyone wants to buy anything let me know are you fucking serious all right fine let's get right down to it pick up the mic hey. hello hello mr scott will fucking kowski from wisconsin that is right welcome to designer con thank you how does it feel is your first time Yes, it's my first time at DesignerCon. Please speak into the mic. Don't be shy. <laughs> this is pretty bizarre. Well, you're going to have to learn, if you're going to keep doing this, that you've got you've to project yeah. yourself to your fans. You know, I mean, you seem like a nice guy. You're all wide-eyed about all the sudden fame, but you'll get used to it. Trust me. I definitely need to take some lessons from the sock lower. Okay, well, He's you're, got a lot to teach. Class is in session. Um, these are really fucking incredible. I mean, this has been the, t the talk of the con. Uh, these remarkable pieces that you've created. Um, I'm a resin slinger myself. Yes, of course. Little known fact. And um, this is a technical achievement that I would never dream to aspire to. Well, um, thank you. Why don't we, before we get into the personal shit, the drugs, the sex, the, yeah. f the failure and redemption, <laughs> let's just talk a little tech nerd shit for a minute. How the fuck do you do this? Ah, uh, let's see. Well, I, I have to mold up the original. And you mean the skeleton the, piece? Yeah, the actual sculpture, so that I can pour a wax in there and uh, sculpt that up, so that I'll know it'll fit inside. That's the basis. I gotta know you it's mean, gonna fit back you, in you, here. You'll take the original piece that you're skullifying and you'll make a wax of it. Yeah. And then what do you do with the wax? Whittle it. Word. So this is a this is a subtractive process. Yeah, totally. Fascinating. I know a lot of people in the toy business don't work subtractively. Those that uh, most of us who do occasionally sculpt, I do. True story. We, it's an additive process. So you being mm. subtractive makes you even more fascinating. Yeah, it's like a block of marble from Michelangelo. That's the old school way. That's <laughs> the old school way. And then I guess the rest is fairly simple. You 
Yeah. You mold the mold the, it up, cast it up, what, what remold a, it. What a lot of the other weird resin douchebags like myself have always been wondering is just how you get the skeleton to actually fit so cleanly within the form without it listing to the side. Like there's no air bubbles, and on none of your pieces that I can tell is the skull sort of bleeding through. Or how how did you do that? As long as you don't add too much on it, it'll just float inside. And as long as you don't take away too much, it kind of registers in there. Registers. Just does its own. Well, I might, I might have to steal a couple of your tips. Everybody out there who, who makes resin, listen to this fucking guy. Um, well, what else do you have? Uh, with all these, uh, by working on the inside of it, it kind of honors the original piece. Yeah. So, How does this honor me? How am I honored by you showing everybody what's <laughs> inside? That's private. Uh, let's see. You got me. I mean, I, I, I actually, I'll be honest with you. I can take practically no credit for any of this. Granted, I did do the package it's design. A package. The package kicks ass. I mean, obviously, the figure is just a, is a ripped off Star Wars figure. It's pieces from fucking Star Wars figures, and I just claimed as my own. That takes absolutely zero talent. Well, you know what's funny, though? Some people are like, oh, it's a the Boba Fett, I'm like, no, that's a Suck Lord piece. I don't even see it as anything but Suck Lord. I would consider that to be a, a very successful act of appropriation then. Yeah, okay, definitely. Great. How much more do we need to hear from this guy? Does anyone in the audience have any questions for Mr. Wolkowski? Nobody has any questions. I think you're out of time, sir. Thank you very much, All Suck right, Lord. Thank you very much. <laughs> it was great having you. All right. Uh, Okay, Bob Self from Baby Tattoo Books. All right, let's get his ass in the chair. Anybody want to buy anything? Are you guys waiting for the exclusives? What? Uh, hey, 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 you, I see you. Weren't you going to buy something? All right, okay. We're going to get you in the hot seat soon yourself. Oh, look at Mr. Mr. Self Promoter with all his stuff. Great. Hey, I don't, I don't travel without product. All right, um, who are you again? Yeah. That's a good question. Uh, my name is Bob. I run a company called Baby Tattoo Books. I see. And we, uh, we publish art books uh, of all different types, from uh, kids' books up to adult photography books with lots of titties in them. How come I'm not in any of your books? I don't know. That's a good question. You should be, right? I think so. Yeah, let's fix that. Let's, let's work on that immediately. And we're having you in the book versus having a book by you, right? Just a book, a book featuring you personally. Um, I'm open to any proposal you may have. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. Yeah, I'm, I'm open-minded. That's awesome. Okay, so um, what, what, else do you do, what else do I need to know? Well, um, oh, I, uh, I, do, uh, I produce art events as well. I heard. A, I do a thing called Dr. Sketchies. Okay. Uh, it, it's a figure drawing. Like, it's, a, it's an anti-art school. It's where if you want to draw a nude model, but you want to, like, treat the model like she's a, a sexy piece of tail, uh, you can do that. Respectfully, of course. Well, that doesn't sound very modern, but... Um, so you're saying it's an anti-art school? So it's like if you go in there, you're you're a worse artist than when you, you're a worse artist when you come out. That could be the case. Okay, uh, great. Absolutely. I think it's more anti-establishment uh, in in tone. Oh well, um, well, which which establishment are we discuss talking about here? The establishment. You mean the art world? The man. You know? Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I have I, I I have a lot of opinions about the so-called art world. Yeah. And what they can go do with themselves. Cool. And I think that may we may roll out some of that during the the course of the, uh, the suckathon. You know. Cool. I mean. Well, I, you know, look, I think of art as a serious thing, but you know what? You don't want to take anything too seriously, because then if, if you're taking it more seriously than anybody else, then I don't know that that's cool. I don't well, know. Well, I mean, I might disagree a little bit about that. I mean, I know this looks like a bunch of bullshit, but I take what I do very fucking seriously. I take you know, what you do the, seriously, too. It's the too. most important thing I have in the world next to my friends and my family and my beautiful girlfriend. But, uh, you know, it's like... You know, I, I believe you have to take things seriously. What I don't believe is that you really have to give a fuck about what some sort of elitist establishment thinks about what you do. I would agree with that completely. You know, it's like the thing that I think is great about this so-called scene that we belong to is that it's very democratic and it's, it's very open. I mean, yes. there's been chatter, you know, about the real art world being very small and very elitist. And, you know, you have to... Right be invited in and to be to, to, I, to that I say fuck your invitation you know it's like because we're fine here right. I know a lot of people there are some people that think we need to win the approval of the art world in order to give ourselves legitimacy and I, I would disagree with that well right because if, if we won approval of people that we don't give a fuck about their approval 
then I, would we would we still be us? We're what doing we, something wrong. Yeah. Right, we would be we wouldn't be us. Uh, so no, uh, we we yeah. Well, that's back to the establishment, right? Right. We're not, we're not part of the norm. That's that's the that's who we are. I mean, the thing is, if the norm wanted to come here and involve itself and support it, I'm open to that. I just think it's not in our interest to seek it out. Right. You no. know. I would agree with that. So that's so. My thing is, uh, here's what I believe in in seriousness. The art, the art world for me, this art world is a community. It's an actual community that you, people can come and and be here. They're around us right now. The community. They can be on the show and we're right, co I'm, I'm, we're I'm, communing I'm, right now. Right, we're communing. So that's what I think. I think we're. An, this is an art movement. This is an art movement that's about community building, and uh, and I think that's fantastic. So there is a level of of inclusion in that. We I think we're a very welcoming community. Uh, and I'm proud of that because I think the traditional art world is not a welcoming community. It's, it's not. It's completely exclusionary. Yeah, and the thing is, once you actually get in there, you realize it's a bunch of miserable fucks that aren't having any fun. Right. We're here playing with toys and getting stoned. Well, and that's what I'm saying about Dr. Sketchy's. When we run a Dr. Sketchy's figure drawing event, it's not only for serioso types that want to come in. Uh, they, they can come. You can but fuck around. You, you want to, yeah, come in and fuck around. Draw, have a good time. If, you're, if you suck, then draw anyway. And if you're fantastic, then then draw better, I don't know. But, but we, we like everybody. Got it, okay, one last question before I kick you off my couch, because yes. we have a schedule to maintain. Yeah. What the fuck is Baby Tattooville? I hear these scandalous stories. Oh, Baby Tattooville, yeah, what's yes. that well, all about? Here's a sort of a poster. Uh, Let's get, get this in the shot here. This was a poster for a, a museum exhibit related to Baby Tattooville. Uh, the short version is every year, it's the first, it starts the first Friday in October, we have a very exclusive get together. There's it's, that word exclusive, you cocksucker exclusive. hypocrite. Well, but that's why we have a museum exhibition. Uh, because for the, the little people, the like myself. The museum is open to the public the same weekend, and we go and everyone meets the artist. But the core Baby Tattooville event, the idea of it was, what if we have an opportunity for some very motivated art uh, fans and collectors and artists to get together for a weekend and just just have a great time hanging out and doing what the artists do, doing what the collectors do, whatever that is. So people are sketching and drinking and eating and, and uh, having fun. And is there partying. any fucking going on? There, there's a, there, there's a, clearly a lot going on. I've seen a little. If I've seen, it's like cockroaches. If you've seen a little, you know there's a lot, right? Yes. So, um, uh, so yeah, of course there's fucking going on. Yeah. Great, good to know. I don't recall ever being invited to one of these things. We'll take care of that. Good. I think we'll take care of that right away. And by the way, if you're here, uh, just to plug something, I wanted to mention this particular book. It, it's sickeningly sweet, so much so I call it sugar porn. Uh, but this is a great show special we have right at the booth, which is right off camera, right over there. So if you're physically here, come and pick up uh, one of our show special books. Uh, you'll love it. Uh, we, uh, we, you'll love it. We take art seriously, too. Okay. We have a fun time, but we take it seriously. Okay, great. It was great having you. A pleasure to meet you. All right, get the face fuck face. out of here. All right. All right, uh, I guess we're moving right along, or I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind making a... I would like to make a couple of dollars before I move on to the next guest. So, does anybody want to buy something? We have exclusive Designer Con Ass Wipe, 10-piece edition, and hold on. There's only four rolls of Ass Wipe left. Uh, it's a silver and magenta, and it's, it's, it's very important that you buy it. We have suck packs, gampire figures, catalogs, and shitty headshots. Yeah, let me just announce real quick the, uh, the raffle. Uh, as you know, there's two photographs of my stupid face for sale for $2 signed. And if you buy one, you are entered to win something in the suck raffle. And uh, I'll tell you this, the prize is really fucking awesome. This is no trick. It's a really great fucking prize, and you want to enter. So... This shit is shutting down right now unless I sell at least one fucking headshot. All right, step right up, step right up. Okay, cool. All right, bring, bring, you can come into the set. Over here, oh, over here please. Uh, all right, which one do you want? Do you want the official suck lord or the uh, unmasked suck lord? Choose wisely. You, yes, you can. Okay, cool. All right, thank you. They're, they're two dollars each. What's your name? What? All right, give me my money. 
All right, and here's your raffle tickets. Uh, here's the rules of the raffle. Uh, the drawing is at 420, so if you have to be somewhere else at that time, too bad. And you have to be present to win. And as I said before, the prize is fucking awesome. Thank you, Tessa. All right, let's get the next guest up on the couch. Four fucking dollars. Get on here. Well, well, look who we have here. What's up? What's up? What's up? You have a mic. Why don't yeah. you guys share the mic? Oh, two mics. No, we're, great, we're great. Fancy. Well, I mean, I think we all know who these wonderful people are. Uh, we're nobody. We're homeless these, people that wandered yeah, in. Yeah, these are just some degenerate toy douchebags, you know, who do some type of broadcast. George and Aileen, right? Yes, uh, I'm George. Okay. I'm Aileen. Okay, great. Well, uh, Little Girls known, are really funny. Little what? We're really funny. Yeah, we're gonna. Well, we're gonna see about that. Uh, little known fact: you are actually one of the producers of the event, Designer Con. Is that a little known fact? I, I didn't, tell everybody. Well, I didn't know. Really? I sort of knew. Okay. I sort of okay. knew. I do. I uh, I help produce Designer Con with Ben Gretzky. Uh, who's that? Ben Baca. You might know him better as. Oh Ben. Oben. Oben. Oh, ben. Oh, ben. Oh, ben. Oh, ben. Oh, ben. Um, yeah, well, Designer Con, what is it, year six, seven? Six. This is our sixth year. And what do you think so far? I am pleasantly surprised by how awesome all of our vendors are, how awesome our attendees are. That's the right thing to say. This thing kind of, like the Suckathon's kind of, you know, dragging, but... Isn't it? It's not as exciting as we thought it would be so far. Sorry, everybody. I'm trying. Give me, a, give me an hour. Um, how about some singing? Can how you about sing? No, I'm not going to sing, but I'm, <laughs> I will drink. Oh, does somebody have drinks? That will definitely help. Kind, Even, ev kind of eventually. Oh, something like alcoholic, maybe. We can make that happen. All right, not right now. I've but got a radio. I'm eventually. official. I can make okay, that when I when I when I really start to feel like I can't stand it anymore, then I'll then I'll call you. No, 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 no. I only drink beer. Do you have any beer lao? Beer lao. I drink Grey Goose though. Okay, get get a get. Why don't you just get an assortment of, of drinks for us? Okay. Um. All right. And a bartender. I think we can take care of that ourselves. Um. So listen. Uh. So what the fuck? Why why are you here? What do I what am I getting out of this? Like, what do you got to say? Well, it is going live on toybreak.com, so I guess that's why you're here. That's why we're here. Right. That's right. I, sh I know which side the bread is buttered on. So, uh, listen, no, I want to say, in all sincerity, thanks for hooking this up. This has been a fantasy of mine for a long time, this sort of talk show style convention booth. I wanted to do this at San Diego for a million years, and that never happened. But guess where it did happen? Designer Fucking Con. Fucking Designer Con. And guess what? It was easy. It just happened smoothly, you know, thanks to the diligence of this woman. You know what's weird is that... And this guy had something to do with it. You know what's weird is that you having a show at a... Uh, like a live thing at a show is also a fantasy of mine. Tell me. What? So it's happening. It is happening. Let's not fuck it up. You might have to wipe up. the couch up when I'm done. So. Yeah, okay, that's cool. I mean, if you... <laughs> it's not my couch, so... Should I leave? Is this... <laughs> no, I think you can maybe uh, uh, participate in this. I mean, that's what everybody's really wants to see. I mean, there's a lot of... Have you read any... Ha, what? Have you read any of the fan fiction, the, the Toy Break fanfic about what goes on? No, I tried to start That would be amazing. Yeah, no, it's, it's out there. It's, it's, out, it's out. Ben and George, though, right? Like Kirk and Spock? It's, it's a, yeah, it's some of that, <laughs> you know. Uh, <laughs> but that's... It's cool. No, Who's I, the captain? Ben or, G, ben or you? Ben. <laughs> nah, but for real. Okay, Toy Break is pretty fucking rad. I mean, wh how many episodes are we in? Like, almost uh, 200, right? We just right? did 191? 191, so almost 200. 191, shit. Who's, who'd, who'd have thought there's that much to say about toys? I didn't think we'd be able to do it once a month, let alone once a week. I know, like we it's, do now. It's, it's pretty amazing. Um, why, do, why do you think you've been so successful? Aside from the fact that you guys are ass-breaking hard workers with a vision, but I mean... What is it about Toy Break that works? I mean, that's an hour of just a bunch of shitholes sitting on a couch talking about fucking toys, yet it, somehow people follow it. How do you, how do you explain that? I, I wish I could. I don't watch it. I don't know. I, I, I only watch explain. the parts that I'm in. I've only seen your episode and one other. <laughs> it's true. I have three, three ideas here. One, we actually work in the toy industry, so we, we know the process of making the toy, so we can 
intelligently comment on the final product. Two, we actually produce a show every week. Regu like having something regularly out is important. And three, I have boobs. I mean, yeah, I mean, so far they've been sort of s cloistered up in these <laughs> baggy t-shirts. When does it, you know? I tried the other day for the Halloween episode, but that didn't happen. Yeah. What soon, you, soon. What, are you, you are, I mean, you're getting possessive here? Or? You don't care. You like to share. No, yeah, Just show it, it off. Put it out, put it out there, show why not? Off. We all want to know. You can see my balls every episode, why not? I'm sure there's some, I'm sure there's a market for that somewhere. But uh, no, I mean, on the real, I mean, fucking toys, right? I mean, shit. You know what it is, is we love toys. And I think people that watch are people that love toys like we do, so. Right. Do we care if it's art or not? No, I don't give a crap about it. I don't give a shit either. In you fact, I think, art. yeah, I think we're better off if it's not art. If people don't think it's art, then we don't have nothing to live up to. And we can just play with fucking toys like a bunch of fucking little babies, right? Exactly. Fuck right. yeah. Yeah, fuck yeah. And if you don't like it, well, you know what you can do with it. Suck it. Suck, Lord. Suck it. Suck it. Right, Suckathon. Let's, let's get Ben up here. Okay, let's get Ben up here. We need Ben. Um, I, I got to say thank you, though, to one person. Go ahead. It was not just me that made this easy. It was uh, our audio tech, Brandon Griffith. Yeah, where the fuck is he? I anyway? know, he won't get on the couch with me. Well... I I can't believe that. He's a jerk bag, I right? Just a can't galactic believe jerk that. bag. A galactic jerk bag. A jerk <gasps> bag of galactic proportions. Oh, he's talking about his Lego. Well, I gotta Let give. Me get out of here I mean, for you. I'm not gonna knock it. Oh, that, oh. That, that Lego shit is pretty dope. The other toy man in my life is joining me. Oh, Ben. Oh, Ben. Ben, Ben, Ben. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm winning apparently so far. How do you like the view? It's uh, it's uh, different. It is d different from it's what you're used to. Quite. Like yeah. you don't normally look at anything like that. Um, not during an event like this. No. Yeah. Okay. Well, hey, we're we're breaking out. I'd like to thank Buff Monster for providing that, and uh, we'll get we'll get to that in a little in a little <laughs> while. Okay. Cool. Um. All right, Ben. So, justify your existence on my fucking couch. <laughs> um, Be brilliant now. I I help run this show. I know. I see you have the little earpiece. Yeah, I'm, I'm plugged into the Matrix now. Okay. <laughs> and what's the? Who's in your ear? Um, I get to hear everybody talking that works the show. It's so. like it's like being God in a way. Kind of, yeah. Get to hear the oh, this isn't working, or that needs to be fixed, or we need to buy beer for Suck Lord. And those problems become your problems. Kind of, but then I I tell somebody to fix it, and it usually gets fixed. Am I not too not important enough that you got to check your text message now or something? Yeah. Um, okay. Listen, thanks. baby, I already told you we were gonna have a booth, babe. I already shouted you out. You see? Uh, sorry, I just got interrupted. Is that, is that your? That's your woman, I right? I would just like to remind everybody of my lovely girlfriend Samantha. She wasn't able to attend, but uh. I put her photo here. Here she is, um, in my living room, playing with uh, Insecticons and Voltron toys that I got in the mail. Um, as you can <laughs> see, she's very beautiful. She's hot. She's, she's fucking I've gorgeous. I've met her in person and hot. she is hot. You kind of want to do her, Wasn't right? She? Yes. Can we hook that up? Uh, I'll see what I can do. Okay. Anyway, I would just like to say <laughs> that this is my girlfriend and she's beautiful and I love her. So whatever else you may see in the, in the frame, it's, <laughs> in it's, the frame. it's for everyone else. It's not for me. I'm only thinking about you, baby. I love you very much. Let's hear your response. Um, <laughs> all right. So Why isn't she here? Oh, she's hustling in New York now. Oh. She's getting her grind on in New York, and she's, she, she's got to keep her eye, her eye on her money. So um, keep she on couldn't fire. make it's it good. here. But she's here in spirit. And I just want to say to all the ladies here at the convention, you can look at the Suck Lord, but don't touch the Suck Lord because <laughs> this girl is fucking gangster, and she will cut you. I'm seriously, if you get fresh. Okay? Love you, babe. Anyway, Ben, what were you saying? Something about yourself? I don't right. know. Right, yeah. The, you were asking about the Hold earpiece on. and how I... God damn it. <laughs> what? Okay. I don't, I don't know how Love you babe. convinced me to do this. All right. Um, what were you saying? You have... Yeah, so you're God, basically, at DesignerCon. No, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not God, but, you know, Aileen and I, you know, we run this little show, and we think we do a pretty good job at it. I think this is a fucking great convention. Well, thank you. I appreciate that coming from a person like yourself. Well, look what you did for me. What does that mean? That's you true. gave me well, a platform. I think it's very hard to please now you got to pay the price. The Actually, it's not. Really? I'm really super easy. Really? Yeah, get me stone, give me a beer, give me some toys to play with, pay uh -huh. attention to me, and I'm fine. Okay. And a little so money. you're a two-year-old. Yeah. 
<laughs> I mean, isn't that that's the, that's the key to success in this business? I think you know. I mean, it's like we're playing with toys for God's sake, you know. But no, it's great. I mean, I think it's a great uh, sort of compliment to San Diego. I mean, that's a good con for what it does. But this is this is this con is more specific, obviously, and it gives us a lot more time to get into it. You know, to get into the material on a much Sorry, more. Sorry, I'm on the Suck Lord show right now. I can't answer. Thanks. Do you want to go handle something? No, no, no. It's good. They got okay, it. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah, designer con. It's pretty dope. Um, as far as we know, some, somebody I... fucking fart in here. Um, that's cool. We all do it. No. <laughs> we all do it. Um, Can we have a Ben Baca? <laughs> Maybe later. Okay. Later. Yeah, All right. Definitely. Somebody's telling me that the picture isn't right. <laughs> somebody? Yeah, somebody Who's says... That somebody? Are you getting glare? There's glare, yeah. Can you fix that for me or get the tech? Where's the... Is there any glare on the photo? Maybe I should... T I'll take the glass take the off. Take glass out. Well, I already taped it on. Uh, oh, I, I'll geez. fix it later. It's... Trust me. We'll put up... Maybe we can later put a, like J a JPEG or something. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Yeah, something. You have a one of these weird things. Magic. Yeah, I like how the wood, the wood frame. Anyway, um, what... They're, they're about to give away your hoodie. Uh, all right. You're, that's, we're, that's done. we're done, hoodie, we're done so with you. You can get away. the fuck off the couch. No, 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 Are you having fun? Yeah, I'm having okay, fun. Okay, okay, then fun. fine. Then you can stay. Thank you. I, I can get out of here. You can you can. If you want to, you got to handle something? Yeah, you can yeah. come back later if you okay, want. All right. Well. And maybe I'll, I always come you should later. come back wearing less. How about that? I'll see if I can make that happen. Okay, maybe towards the end. See, the problem is... is ben has got me stuck. He's too big. Sorry. They... They, we have giveaways every hour. You know that, right? Uh, no, I didn't. All well, I know is what I'm doing. So, by the way, did you see what I'm, what I'm wearing on your behalf? What? Oh, yeah, pink sneakers, huh? There you go. Um, hey, I got a text mes message from Smack Rob. He wants to say, hey, Aileen, I'm watching the show. It's fucking great. Uh, you know Smack, right? Smack. Fucking great guy. Anyway, he's, he's, he's said that the shit is the bomb, so thank you for that. Thank you. Thank everybody. Um, what? I'm talking to fucking Ben. Well, thank you. Anyway, anyway, yes. you, you see a big dog in the wings. Yes. So you better be really interesting, <laughs> or, or you're out of here. I can't. I can't beat Jesse. All Jesse's right. Jesse's the dog. I mean, you want to Jesse? Jump you want to come in? I mean, you want if you know what they do on like the real talk shows is like they talk to the one asshole for a minute and then they right. shuck him over thank and then you. put the new guy. So if you want to, you can say one more thing. And then you've got to move your ass over if you I want to stay on the couch. I just want to say I want to thank everybody that came to the show, including yourself. That's an empty platitude. No, it's not. It's not empty. It's completely honest. But it sounds cliche. Uh, what, else, what else do you want me say to say? Say it in a more hey, creative assholes, way. Hey, assholes, thanks for coming. That'll do. All right, thank All right. you. All right. All right. <laughs> Another text message. Jeez, you are popular. I got a text message from my girlfriend saying, Aileen is hot, bring her back, LOL. So I think it is possible... But we're, like I said, we're going to want to see a little more skin, all right? All right. I'm on it, babe. Anything for you. Love you. My girlfriend, Samantha, everybody. Can we get some clapping? Just for the people at home, we're about 40 deep with the audience here. There's like a huge line of people waiting to get a little piece of the action. All right. A big dog in the house. What's up, kid? Forgive me if I don't stand. I'm not wearing pants. Uh, um, have a seat, buddy. Grab a mic. Oh, wow. Take the, the take the one that this is more manly, homie. Yeah, the one that flatters your face. You know, the brown one. I, I appreciate that. Yeah, so it's good to be flattered. Yeah. Okay. So what's up? I don't know. Uh, Dove say, "Yo, come, okay. come, chop it up with the Suck Lord." Uh, work of art, famous freaking son of a bitch from New York over here. I don't Watch know it on Bravo. <laughs> anyway, um, holler. Yeah. So, um, what are you shucking here at Decon? Uh. I'm selling, uh, I'm not selling, I don't make much, I don't, no. What? I'm, I'm just here to sign stuff. What do you mean? What are you signing? I don't make money. You got how many kids, like 10 <laughs> kids now? Yeah, you're right. It's all, how many uh, kids do you have? I have 15, illegitimate. No, yeah, I know. Well, four. Okay. Um, how the fuck do you raise four kids on, on a toy artist salary? You don't. So what else do you do? This is purely supplemental, homie. I don't know. <laughs> I actually work at Zynga now, which is What's that? quite interesting. Uh, the mobile game company. And what do you do for them? I'm an artist. So what, you just draw Picture shit that. and they make games out of your drawings? And they make millions. They're and, crazy. And how much do you make? 
not millions. Really? <laughs> <laughs> You're working on the plantation, buddy. <laughs> but no, nah, it's pretty dope. They just flew us all out to Vegas. That's actually just came here. Oh, From Vegas. There, huh? On two hours sleep, it was rad. Did you? Did anything stay in Vegas? I'm sure. <laughs> I bet it did. I bet it did. Well, I'm, I'm happy for you, man. I mean, you're, yeah, a, right you're on, a, a gigantic glowing luminary in this little scene. You're, you loom large <laughs> in many ways. Oh, man. I heard you had a big cock. Well, I don't know who you heard it from. Well, it's on the message boards. Holler. <laughs> Holler. It's, it's big on Twitter. Hashtag. Jesse's oh, penis. You were fool for that one. Yeah, well. Um. Anyway, just a heads up. Yes. Yes, Lars, I know the fucking K is missing from the sign. You can see it's been indicated. We, we caught the error before the sign went on the wall, so thank you. It's because it thank sucks. You. Uh, Lars, the guy that makes the suck packs, is correcting my <laughs> spelling live on the internet. Thank you for making me look like a douchebag. The cards are dope, though. Holla. Uh, Man, what's you, going on with you, kid? I'm winning. winning clearly. Win, winning life. Clearly. Clearly, clearly winning life. Uh, I'm shucking shit, you know. I'm selling my, my ass wipe. Um, did you see the ass wipe? I saw it. It's, it's for your culo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what's yeah, up. here. I'll... <laughs> this is the display copy, but you can handle it if you want. Yeah. Yeah. This is a limited edition decon exclusive. Only 14 pieces in production, uh, only 10 available, and I only have four left, so if anybody wants to buy a roll of ass wipe, you better act quick, because this will never be made again. How much are these, bro? 25. 25? Yeah, it's pretty good. What, homeboy discount or what? Uh, what do you mean? Well, you know what I mean. You want one? Yeah. I'll give you one for $20. $20. Fucking douchebag. The thing is, you got to understand, because <laughs> due to the conceptual <laughs> nature of this piece, if the price goes too low, it sort of destroys the whole point of it. You I know what you. I mean? So no, no, I will, I'll get one later. Don't worry. On your way out? I will not take your display piece. Uh, no, I'm not selling the display piece. It's for display. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Okay. All right. Uh, no, no, no. You have to pay $25. You're nice and she all. She wants but, to pay but, for mine. But, oh, you're gonna pay for it? Okay, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, that's You want to buy right it for now. him? That's fine. That's fine. No, you want to buy it for him? Thanks, cat. You can be on the camera <laughs> if you spend some money. Come on, I haven't made any money in like ten minutes. Get over here. Get over here. You can't take it back. Get in the twenty for you. Uh, Thirty-five. Okay, fine. But I'll say one thing. Okay, get get in the frame. Get whoa, in the frame. Whoa, whoa. Stand stand there. I'll take your money. <laughs> yes, you're a crass opportunist, and that's why, and game recognized game. I just want to make a little announcement, though. This is not setting any kind of precedent here, all right? You're nice. I like you. I saw the 20, and I got a little, you know, I started fiending a little bit, but now I'm satisfied, and it's going back to the regular price, okay? Enjoy your ass wipe. Thanks for your support. Word. Uh, what time is it? I do have to do a, a, a release. No, I got time. Um, okay, what else do you want to talk about? Uh, well, I guess since we're here at Decon, um, at 2 o'clock I'll be signing with Kuso Vinyl for the, uh, the Blood Red Miklon Resin Edition. You've been getting a lot of mileage out of that design, haven't you? That's how we roll, bro. That is how we roll. I mean, you know how it is. Hey, you know, if it's It's good, all about the colorway. It, bro. Yeah, I'm on, my, I'm on my seventh Gay Empire now. Seventh edition, you know. I've been seeing it even like... 12 years or something. Yeah, like, well, you know? I mean, that, that, that piece actually came out in 2005, but it may as well have been yeah, 12 years. 30 you know, years. It feels like fucking 30 years. You know, but, uh, 70s. Yeah, so wait, do you, did you actually bring the piece to the booth to showcase? I didn't. You're a Cause, fool. Because Dove brought me. I wasn't ready. But listen, I mean, okay, fine. Uh, hey, Joe Ledbetter's here. Yeah, do you think you, think, uh, you, you want to keep the seat hot, keep them waiting, or you want to get off? It's, you know, I, I'm going to give it up. All right. Let's give it up for Mr. Jesse fucking Hernandez. And don't forget to go buy a shit at, um, where is it? Co booth Cuso 200? Vinyl, right over there. I got, I got that got really loud. I got to give you props for fucking with resin, too, just because uh, vinyl is bullshit. He said that on Vinyl Addiction, too, by the way. Yeah. We so, called it Resin Addiction. Resin Addiction. OG know. resin shit right here. Know about it. Thank you for recognizing Good on you, sir, for every, everything you do. All right. Uh, okay, so the official Suckathon 2011 is off to a smashing start. And it's only 43 minutes in. Um, 
Well, we got a lot of great things happening. Uh, celebrities, releases, a bunch of shit like that. Uh, you waiting for the dummy? All right, well, you got to wait a little longer. Um, yeah, uh, I guess at about 1 or 1.30, we're going to do the dummy. I think I might just split the difference and call it 1.15. So if anybody's listening, the official time for the drop of the dummy exclusive is 1.15. Uh, if I could get the uh, voice in the sky to announce that, that'd be really cool. But we'll get to that. All right. Hey, hey you. Oh, look who it is. Jay led himself. Pick up, pick a mic. This one matches your shirt. Okay. How's it going? Uh, do we this got a level on this mic? Hello. Hello. Okay. This is for you. What is this it? It's a special sticker. The loyal subjects, and it's a sticker. Cool. And it's of one of your characters. Yes, yeah. I'm going to put it in my box of free shit. It's getting swole. All right, so um, justify your presence on my couch. Oh, man, I don't belong on your couch. Well, then somehow you wound up there, so do your best. You must be doing something here of significance. I'm just kind of here to sign stuff. I'm not, I don't have a big release or anything this year. Um, that, well, that's a mistake. Why don't you have a big release? You know, I'm never ready for these things. Why don't you do small releases? They're acceptable. I, yeah. I mean, I'm never ready for... I mean, you seem generally <laughs> prepared for life. No? Is that an illusion? No, I'm prepared for life. Okay. Yeah. Well, life is you doing your shit, isn't it? Yes. Is this yeah. just not important to you? It's important to me. But, what, are you, you know, am I making you uncomfortable? A little bit. All right, yes. I'm sorry. You want me to scale it back? I wasn't ready for an interview with you. Sorry. You I'm going to give not, you... I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be gentle and give you a chance to just use this to your advantage, so go ahead. I have nothing to say. You, I can't... You're an artist. You have nothing to say? I have nothing to say. What are your toys about? My toys are about... Speak into the mic. Oh, man. I don't know. I mean, you have a very recognizable style. You can yeah. look at... a bunny rabbit by you or any wild animal creature and immediately know that you made it, right? I hope so. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty obvious. But beyond that, so, I mean, what is it about? Why, why, what's with the animals? Why do you like animals so much? I don't know. It's, it's just, um, I'm just really good at drawing animals, so I stick to it. Stick to it. Would yeah. you ever consider doing something that wasn't an animal? You know, I used to do a lot of, like, human characters and stuff. And, uh, you know, when I was, like, developing my style and starting to do art shows and things like that, um, I just decided, like, you know, I'm going to stick with, like, what I'm best at. Excuse me. <laughs> no, go, go, go on. <laughs> you know, and, and stick with what I'm best at and just go forward, you know. Okay. So. I would, you know what I think would be cool if you got into, and it's not a huge stretch from your style, uh, is, like, flora. You know, you do the fauna. I'd like to see you try... Plants, vegetables, fruits, things like that. You know, that might look cool in your style. Yeah, like, you know, working on some stuff now. Geometric apples and carrots, you know, with your bold line style. I'm doing some cacti. Cacti. The flowers would be cool. Yeah, flowers, flowers. Venus flytraps. That's a good idea, actually. Pitcher yeah. plants, vegetables. I got a big thing for vegetables. I like vegetables, squash. Squash. Yeah. I like carrots. I like fruit, too. I like, well, we know that. Yeah. <laughs> Fruit's fun. Fruit's fun. Um, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, Joe fucking led better. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. Uh, so wait. What's you up, have, fucking Lord? Yes, that's true. So wait, where is your signing again here at the con? I'm over at the Loyal Subjects, just, uh, just behind here. So Joe, we've got a whole bunch of, of all my stuff I've done with them. And when does so. that start? I just finished signing. So, so it, you're, you done. came here to promote something that already happened. Yeah. You suck at marketing. <laughs> you gotta learn, man. You gotta learn. I can't believe how successful you've they just, been. They just grabbed me I mean, and pulled me over. Just here. watching the incompetence on display here, I can't believe you even made it to the show. I mean, don't I, get me wrong. I would never survive on that game show you're on. Oh I'll well. Tell you that. <laughs> yeah, that's that's, like that's, prob that's probably true. But um, anyway, I you know I think you're pretty cool. Thanks, man. I yeah, think cool I think too. you're pretty cool. Thanks, man. Well, I'm going to get out of here. Yeah, get off my table. Get off my couch. All right. I'm done with you. Okay. Man. Thank you, Joe Ledbetter. See you later. Clap your hands. <laughs> hey, he's a good sport. He did good. He did good. Jack from Vinyl Pulse is coming up in a few minutes, and that's going to be interesting to get. Oh. And then we got the tech guy. How are we doing on the body painting? No, no rush. Keep it going. Uh... So, 
All right. Um, what, what was that? What was I saying before? Uh, I, my first choice of beer is Beer Lao, if you can find it. It's the official beer of Suckadelic. You might have to go to, like, Thai Town to get that. I like, I like Blue Moon. Okay, I think they have that. Okay, cool. Second choice? Uh, Presidente? Okay. Okay, thanks. Oh, no, you know, uh, Seoul, Seoul or Pacifico, seeing as I'm on the West Coast. I drink, I represent for my DR peeps when I'm, when I'm in New York. All right, cool. All right. Uh, where is my next guest? Unless somebody wants to buy something. We have merchandise. Who wants Gay Empire? What do you want? All right, let's do some headshots while this guy does his makeup or whatever. Uh, hang on. All right. Which one do you... Oh, wait, now, don't block the camera. Step to uh, either side. You can be in the shot, just don't block the action, okay? Okay, both. Ah... Uh. This is something really important that's happening right now for, for you. Yeah. 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 I think so. This is legendary. It's actually good for me, too. And I'll tell you why. Because I know I act like an asshole, but the only reason I get to act like an asshole is because people give me an audience. And if I didn't have an audience, I'd be fucking miserable. So I would just like to thank the fans for letting me do me. Well, now I can tell people that I gave you a little bit of tips. Yeah, you gave me a little bit of tip. Wait, 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 wait. Do you need your change? That's what I was talking about. Oh, you can take a button. How about that? Okay. Do you want a raffle ticket, too? Yes, I would love to. All right, pick a button. Take the buttons over there and rummage through it. Which, which one did you take? Proto-villain. All right, a villain in training. And then... Oh, shit, okay. Here's your, here's your raffle tickets for the, the drawing is at 420. You have to be present to win. And the prize is really fucking awesome. All right, see you then. One of each. Ah, thing is, I'm, all this money goes to Dove, so it's not truly as satisfying as selling some of the other merch, but, you know, I have to serve my master. How's everybody doing at home? I bet you wish you were here. If you're sitting at home watching this, you're a fucking loser. <laughs> really. I, I would, if, if I were you and I was sitting there watching this asshole for seven fucking hours, I'd, I'd fucking shoot myself. <laughs> I'm fucking serious. Change or a button. You don't want another button? Take the dollar. <laughs> Go ahead. And here's your raffle tickets. You already heard the rules, right? 420, you have to be present to win, and the prize is really fucking awesome. Okay, see ya. Uh, no, but you can go buy my t-shirts at suckadelic.com. Thank you. If you want some promotional material to remind yourself, step up and take it. What do you want? Winner, okay, fine. $45, take out your money. Another headshot? Okay. Okay, so you're buying the, the headshot of my face. Yeah. Are you going to masturbate to it? Maybe. Okay. Do you want me to sign this? Wait, this is only $2. You get the headshot for $2. Do you want another raffle ticket? Oh, I, I thought you had like karate school or something. No? No, I'm going to put that on. Okay, good, because you don't want to miss this. All right. There's that one. Tell, tell them I said what's up. And there is your raffle ticket. You know the rules. And you want this figure? Uh, yes, let me get to change. Ah, the rapidly swelling roll. My favorite part of the con. Uh, wait, so how much are you? $15? It's five... Uh, No, but you can get Suck Pack Series 3 in full boxes. Um, what, let's suck it up. Okay, take a bunch of Suck Packs. You see that, Lars? We're selling Suck Packs. How many can I get? You can have fucking three. All right, take four, fine. Thanks. You're a good customer. I, I got to give... Uh, just sit down for a second. Okay. Sit down on the, on the couch. 
take take a mic. This is a really uh, deep couch. I know you need to be subordinate. To I don't me. like being below. Okay, well, you have no you have no choice in the matter. <laughs> now, uh, what's your name? Sean. Now you're a really good Succadella customer. I mean, your your name pops up every time. I, every time I put up a new release, I see that little notification of payment received, yep. and there's your email address. And uh, you know, I really appreciate that. You know, what, Thank you. what what why do you do it? I you know for, for whatever. Speak reason, into the mic, please. Your stuff just really uh, speaks to me because I grew up with Star Wars and He-Man and. I mean, you're taking real, honest to God money. And you're just buying a stupid piece of plastic. Yeah, but I make money by teaching karate. Good. Okay. Well, don't kick my ass. <laughs> but um, because then I, can't, if you break my fingers, I can't make any more toys. That's true. But uh, no, I mean, I just, I just wonder sometimes because I'm, I'm a little mystified because I make this stuff and it doesn't, it, I, it's a, just a job to me. So when, and I appreciate that people buy it all the time, but I don't necessarily always understand it. So can you explain it to me? Well, I mean, I don't think most artists would buy their own art. I don't buy any art, really. I don't know. I just it, it reminds me of a fucked up version of my childhood. Right, which is what you're living now, pretty right. much. So, and when, how do you enjoy your figures at home? Uh, they're they're in a display, in a glass case. Okay. I'm really obsessive about. And do you show it off right. to your friends and stuff like that? Yeah. Do they get it? Some of them. Cool. My and girlfriend does, so that's good. Are you yourself an artist? Uh, I used to design, or I used to make like custom Star Wars action figures. Uh -huh. So back like in the late '90s, I just painted right. big characters they hadn't made yet. Right. I mean, where I'm going with this is though, do you feel that you are expressing yourself by what you collect? I, you know, maybe I guess I don't know because it has a correlation to like my childhood and the stuff I grew up with. But I mean, I'm just saying, like you know, there's a lot of stuff here to buy, and you're only going to buy certain things. And right. I, my belief is that people collect in their own way. And that it says something about who you are, and it's also a way of you exercising, you know, your taste, yeah. your opinion, your what you feel, and you put it together in a in a in a in a nice collection. Yeah. It's I just got um, uh, a text from somebody that said your guest just crushed the figure. He sat on it. No, I no, you didn't. No, no, it's, it's no cool. it's fine. It's fine. But thanks but for your I concern. But if I crushed it, it'd probably go up in value. Yeah. Right? Um, Okay, well, thank you for your yeah, patronage, you. all right? <laughs> this guy, thank you, thank you. All right, um... All right, I'm getting a lot of commentary from the peanut gallery of people telling me how to run my own show. The, stop busting his balls. That's what I do. I bust balls, but I do it gently. You know, I don't destroy balls, I just bruise them a little bit. But thank you. Thanks for the feedback. All right, do we have my next guest? All right, everybody, let's have a big round of applause for Jack Vinyl Pulse. Hey, how's it going? Sit down and grab the mic, okay. unless you want to buy something. I wanted to ask you about your head show. Do you want to do it on camera with the sure. mic in your hand? All right, I'm going to go, all right, fine. I, I'm going to go a little easier on you than everyone else, if that's oh, okay. Wow. okay. Unless you want it the full treatment. Whatever you want. All right, well, this is a, a bit of a mind fuck. Am I interviewing you or are you interviewing me? I think you're interviewing me. How about it's we... Your suckathon. That's true, but I mean, most of the time you're spending your time talking about what I do. That's true. And I, and I don't, and, I, and now I gotta think about you, what you do, which is pretty much just blog about toys, That's right? That's true. How's that going? Vinyl Pulse is, is OG in this game, right? I guess it is OG, yeah. It's going good. I always enjoy writing about you. Make sure you talk into the mic. It's okay. it's uh, it's 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 uh, it's uh, unidirectional. All right. Okay. Um, how long has Vinyl Pulse been in business? Uh, almost six years. Shit. Wow. And you generate revenue from it as well, right? We do. Yeah. That's quite an achievement. Thanks. It is. No, I mean a lot of people. There's a lot of bloggers out there, and they got an ad or two up there, but it don't make a you make a living doing this shit, right? Pretty much. I mean, you have other things. You have multiple sites going, right? You don't you don't have a day job, right? Uh, I don't have a day job. I guess, well, I do. It's blogging. Right, but I'm saying you don't do any... You, how many blogs do you have? I have two. I have Vinyl Pulse and I have Daily Du Jour, which is an art site. Art site, huh? Oh, mm -hmm. Mr. Fancy. So how do you... Is there any bleed through between Vinyl Pulse and Du Jour? I mean, how, you're actually... This is interesting now because it puts you in a sort of junction where you have to decide 
something comes up, right, that you're interested in, you have to decide what site it goes on, right? Is it on the art site or the toy site? Right? Uh, that's true. There is a little bit of that. Uh, sometimes I post on both sides. Right. I mean, is it ever a conflict? If it is, you just post on both? or? Yeah. I mean, I think if it's something that uh, readers of both sites really is relevant to, I post on both. Right. I mean, I, I got to be honest with you that this toys versus art argument is kind of tired at this point. It's like this is something that people were arguing about sort of a couple of years ago. And I think we've all decided that the answer is who fucking cares. Well, actually, I think the reason why I started, I started the second site was because I was getting um, negative feedback from readers when I would post uh, you know, about an art show, paintings, and they're like, well, that person doesn't even do toys. Why should they be on Vinyl Pulse? So I just figured I would, uh, you know, I understood that, so I would start an art site for, you know, to focus more on 2D work, really, painting and gallery work. So you succumbed to public opinion. I guess that's one way you look at it. I, I thought there was some wisdom in their criticism. You're probably right, and you're a wise guy. I mean, you, you've, you know, you're, you know, you got shit to say, you know. Well, that's cool. No, I, I appreciate it. I, pre I appreciate everything that you do. Um, uh, what the, what else? I mean, what do you think? Did you think this, you know, never, people never thought that hip hop would come this far. I mean, you know, it's like, here we are, like, at least a decade plus into this so-called movement. More and, than a decade, yeah. Yeah, more than a decade at least. And, you know, people, are, I mean, people are still, are people still concerned of whether this is a fad or not? Or is this a permanent part of creativity and art now? Uh, I think this is a permanent part. I think uh, the fad part might have come from not so much a fad, but I think, you know, everything starts hot and then um, sort of find stability and I think that's where we are now. So I think it was a fad for some people that got in because everyone else was doing it right. and it was interesting. And for those people it was a fad. Right. I mean now you even see fads within this fad or whatever you want to call it. It's obviously sure. not a fad but now we see the toy world is definitely established as a permanent part of American culture or world global culture and then you see fads within that. So, I would so when you say toy world you mean designer toy, art toy, indie toy kind of thing. Because I mean, toys. Yeah, have been I mean, okay, for a long time. I, I, well, I, okay, you're right. I'll make the distinction that this is um, toys designed by artists or individuals. I mean, the right. difference between like a gay empire figure and say a Star Wars figure, aside from the obvious ones, is that a, a person's individual name is ascribed to this figure, whereas the other toy is made by a toy company. And the guy that actually designed the toys, you don't know who he is. Right. Right. That could be one way of de defining it. Right. So I guess maybe this will turn around. Uh, so do you really not like the art that you make? Or is that really just shtick? I, I mean, no, you say, I, oh, this is shit. Well, Why are you spending my money, your money well, on this? Well, no, I mean, I make a little bit of a distinction. I, don't, I, li I like it. I mean, and it hurts my feelings sometimes when people say, okay, smack, send her over. Um, what was I saying? Uh... I like it, and sometimes it hurts my feelings when people say, well, obviously the toys are crap. His concepts are brilliant, but his toys are garbage. You know, that hurts my feelings, because some of them I do actually put a lot of effort into, you know. Maybe some of them look... I think people think... Sometimes I don't think people even really look at the craft. They just assume it's garbage. Like, Space Necromancer, that shit fucking had, like, 15 coats of monster color on it, you know. It was, like, a lot of work, you know. But, I, you know, whatever. I mean... I do kind of understand that there's a bit of a hustle to any of this shit. I mean, it's like, you do, I'm just maybe a little more transparent about the fact. It's like, I've been selling rolls of Ass toilet wipe. paper for $25. I mean, obviously there's no, something... No, I have to question the sanity of anyone that would buy that, but... Go ahead. Question away. I mean, a figure is fine. Oh, I mean, I just did. I don't know if there's much else to say about it. Well, I mean, it's toilet paper that you bought, and I hear you... The people aren't even getting a full roll because it wouldn't fit. Yeah, so you remove, I had to skim you're it cheating down. them of some of the paper. I skimmed it down. Well, obviously, I don't expect you to actually wipe your ass with this. You have to leave it in the package. It's, it's called ass wipe, though. I know, but it's conceptual. This is conceptual. Oh. Do you understand what it means? Oh, is that what you learned on that TV show? What TV show? Work of art. Watch it on Bravo. Um, 
Yeah, well, m maybe so, but I just think, I mean, you know, I'm not, there is something, I, God forbid, to say Warholing about this, wouldn't you say? I mean, it's this fucking obvious scam. It's an obvious scam, but it's also awesome at the same time. See, but you're, you confuse people, right? Because you're saying that's an obvious scam, and maybe it is, but then you're selling good figures, too. Did I say that? Uh, I just said that. Oh, um, well, no, but the thing is, this is really good toilet paper. You Look just... at this. This is a limited edition, 10 pieces. 10 pieces available, only 14 in the set. It's genius. And you're never releasing any more ass wipe? Not in this colorway. Oh, in that colorway. No, I this see. is an exclusive colorway. Right on. The regular one on the site. Oh, look, at there he is. He, you're on the... You can send a bunch of that to Chavitz Center. Chavitz Center. Chavitz. Yeah. Because you used it all up. <laughs> We're going to cover Kaiju. that.